So here we have a problem that says if f of x is equal to sine of x squared plus pi, then f, pri f prime of the square root of uh, 2 pi is equal to what? So the first step when we're looking for an f prime, that means we're first looking for the derivative. So to take this function, sine of x squared plus pi, notice that we have the outside function of sine and then an inside function that's more than just x. So we'll have to both use the formula for taking the derivative of sine, and then we'll also need to use the chain rule to deal with the inside function being more than just x. Okay, so the first step is that if we have sine of x and we want to take the derivative of sine of x, The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Okay, so that's our first rule that we're going to use. So since our sine is our outside function, our sine will turn into cosine when we take the derivative of it. So we're first finding f prime of x in our first step. So sine, the outside function, will turn into cosine and then the inside part we'll need to use the chain rule for. So the chain rule says if we're taking the derivative of f of g of x, what we do is we take the derivative of the outside function leaving the inside function the same, but then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Okay, so the f prime is the part that we just did. The cosine would be the derivative of the outside function. Next, we leave the inside function the same, so we'll leave the x squared plus pi the same, but now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of x squared, we use the power rule, which is the derivative of x to the power of n is equal to nx to the n minus 1. So we kick the 2 to the front. We leave x the same. We subtract the power by 1, which makes it a 1, which we don't need to write. And then... The next thing we do is take the derivative of pi. Pi is just a constant, so the derivative of any constant goes to zero, so that finishes the derivative of our inside function. Okay, so now we've completed the derivative of the function, but we need to now plug in the square root of two pi for our, um, for our x in our derivative. So, the derivative of f plugging in square root of 2 pi into our function makes cosine of, we have the square root of 2 pi, but then we're squaring that, plus pi. And then we're multiplying that by 2x, so that would be 2 times root 2 pi. Okay, from here we need to simplify. The square root will cancel out with the square, so that would be 2 pi plus pi, so that simplifies to cosine of 3 pi times 2 root 2 pi. From here, what is cosine of 3 pi? Well, let's do a little sketch of our unit circle. Remember that cosine is the x coordinate on the unit circle. So we're going to go around our unit circle. This would be up to 2 pi, and then going around a half more times makes 3 pi. So we're going to finish right here. The coordinate on this unit circle would be negative 1, 0. And since the cosine is the x-coordinate, 
we'll take the negative 1. So that means that the cosine of 3 pi is equal to negative 1. We need to multiply that by 2 root 2 pi. And so that simplifies to negative 2 root 2 pi, or letter A. Okay, I know that was a lot of formulas and a lot going on. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know any questions that you have in the comments. Or if you have another question that you'd like to see a video for, feel free to leave that either in the comments or send me an email at my email in the description. Well, thanks for watching and happy studies.